Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's a very motivating extreme cleaning video. Here I'm just showing you a little overview of what I'm going to be cleaning today. The house is a mess as you can see. So I hope this motivates you and let's get started. So as usual, I'm going to start off with laundry so I can make the most efficient use of my time. And I realized I typically don't introduce myself in my videos. I don't know why, I just never think to do it. So if you are new here, hello, my name is Tessa. I'm a mom of two. I have a two-year-old boy and a one-year-old girl and I make homemaking content, vlogs, cleaning videos, decorating videos, anything in that niche you will find on this channel. So I hope that you enjoy. I hope that you stick around and subscribe if you do. Um, here I am just cleaning my little boy's room. I always like to start off with the kids' bedrooms on cleaning days just because um, they go down for bed way before I do, obviously, and they take naps during the day. So I just wanna make sure that if I have a chance to clean their rooms, that I do. Next up is my bedroom, which is a total mess per usual. I talk about this all the time. This room always gets neglected in the house. I always make sure that the downstairs living areas are picked up and ready to go just because we spend a lot of time there. And if people come over, that's what they see. And then I totally neglect my bedroom. So um, for some reason, my two-year-old put all of his blankets in our bed. So I'm just getting those ready to go. I'm making the bed. If I'm cleaning my room, the first thing I do is always make my bed. It just sets the tone. It makes it feel so much better. If I need to fold anything, or lay anything out, I have a space to do it. And it just makes it feel like if you have a made bed, you should have a clean room and it's motivating to get your room cleaned. So I'm cleaning the nightstands right now and they are glass. We've had these nightstands for like 100 years and I'd love to get new ones, but I feel like there's just a million things on the list I wanna get for the house before I even think about our room. Um, but anything glass in the house I use to clean, um, I have like a vinegar and water solution that I just make and put in a spray bottle. I just do like a splash of vinegar and then fill the rest up with water and it works better than any glass cleaner I've ever used. I use it on mirrors, on windows, anything like that and it doesn't leave near as many streaks. So just a little tip, all you need is a little bit of white vinegar and some water. Okay, I was in a little bit of a rush here to get Eva's room clean before she went down for bed. I had this pile 
of clothes over here that she had outgrown that I've been meaning to put away. So for the time being, I'm just gonna put them in the office. You will see me put them away later in the video. I am notorious for throwing her old clothes in the office and then letting them sit there for a while. But I did put them away on this night. Um, but I just wanted to get them out of the room so I could get her room clean before she went to bed. And as you can see, her closet here is kind I don't want to say it's a disaster because it's not like completely a disaster, but it's not super organized either. We just have so much baby stuff and we haven't 100% decided yet if we're going to have another baby, so I don't want to get rid of anything. So I just have like wraps and carriers and I'm um, just like any little like her car and the newborn car seat insert, just any little thing for baby swaddles. I mean, just yeah, all those kinds of things I just throw into this closet because I don't know where else to put it. And she was the last baby that we had, so it just makes sense for it to be in here. But I don't want to get rid of anything yet because we don't know if we're going to use it again or not. So it's easily accessible in here if we do decide to have another baby. Um, but yeah, for the time being, it's just taking up some space. So that's why it's like impossible to have her closet completely organized right now. Okay, Eva does go down for bed about 30 minutes before Jonah does. So I have like 30 minutes now before we start his bedtime routine. Um, so I'm just going to try and quickly get his laundry folded and put away before he goes to sleep. Like a fire that burns so bright I will stay and you were night Like a spark we work to ignite Then yeah, ask yourself, is it worth this fight? I love you so much sometimes, baby I feel like I couldn't breathe When I look in your eyes, I know I'm right You're where I need to be
comes back It's meant to be How can I make you see There will never be Another you and me This could be the last time That we see each other But I wanted you to know that This ain't over If you fall I'll pick you up Never too much Carry these memories Till we're older All right, the kids are down for bed, so next up is our bathroom. So I'm starting off with our tub. It wasn't too bad. This top area gets a little bit dusty, so I needed to wipe that down before I start cleaning the actual tub. And before I do anything with the tub, whether it's clean it, whether it's use it, I always have to rinse the cat hair out because this guy right here, Big Ace is what we call him, um, he loves to sleep in the bathtub. I don't know what it is. He's looking at me right now like, what are you doing with my bed? Um, but yeah, I'm just wiping it down with a Mr. Clean bath sponge and then a little bit of shower cleaner. Um, and I actually don't really clean the jets too often, maybe like once or twice a year I will do that, but I don't use the jets whenever I take baths. They're just like really loud and I don't know, I just don't feel like I need them. So I don't clean the jets on a regular basis. Also, I do want to mention, make sure you wipe down the front of your tub, whether you have cabinets like this or it's like the actual bathtub just because it's easy to forget that and it gets very, very dusty very quickly. Okay, so now I got everything off the counter space, so I'm going to start wiping everything down. Whenever I do bathroom sinks, I first do the faucet because that's where you touch, like, you know, obviously the most. So I want to make sure that it's completely germ-free and I'm using a clean rag on that. And then I do the actual countertops. And then since the sinks are always the dirtiest, I do the sink right there. You can see it's getting nasty. <laughs> um, but I do the sinks last. If you have watched any of my cleaning videos in the past, you know that the shower, specifically this shower, is my least favorite thing ever to clean. I'd rather clean 10 toilets than clean this shower. I don't know if it's very hard to get clean or just very hard to make it look clean because it's looked like this since we lived here. We've lived here about a year and a half and I think the house was seven years old whenever we bought it. So, I mean, it had been used for a little while, um, but the grout, you can't really see here at the bottom. Um, but the grout just has like that rusty color to it and no matter what I do I can't get it to look clean or I can't get it clean I don't really know and you can see here in the corners that there's a lot of buildup and I just can't I don't know I, I no matter how, how much I scrub or what product I use I just can't get it to look clean so if you have any tips on cleaning your grout cleaning the corners in your showers please let me know because I am so tired of looking at this shower and every time I get in it, even after I clean it, it doesn't look clean. So anyway, moving on to the toilet now. I just want to love you. just want to hold you. Just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You say
Okay, so here's that tub of baby clothes I was talking about, and I am putting all of these nine-month clothes away. Even if we don't have another baby, I feel like I'll never actually get rid of baby clothes because I'm just way too sentimental. But let me know in the comments if you have had babies that have grown. Did you keep their baby clothes? Did you just keep a few things? I just don't know how I could get rid of stuff because every outfit I see has a memory attached to it. So I've talked before about how I'm very sentimental, even just in general, but especially as a mom, it's so much worse. All right, the last thing I'm going to do upstairs is vacuum the office. Um, we were shredding some paper up here and then the kids got into the paper shreds. So they were all over the floor, so this room needed a good vacuum. Okay, we are in the home stretch. If you're cleaning with me, keep it up, girl. We only have a few minutes left. I'm going to clean the kitchen. This is the most monotonous thing I feel like I do because no matter what I do, I will always be cleaning the kitchen at the end of the night. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is tidy up the living room. We did roll up our rug for a few days because we were potty training um, and we just haven't gotten around to putting it back down. But yeah, if you're gonna potty train, if you're gonna do the naked method like we did, definitely roll up your rugs.
right, so that is everything that I got done on this night. I did not get like every single little thing downstairs done, but I was really tired. So I hope that you know, if you're exhausted, don't feel like you have to get it all done in the same night. You can work day by day. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.